Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Shobhik Dev from Shobhik's Biology. Today I will discuss hypothalamo-hypophysial gonadal axis. So at first we have to know what is this. The root or pathway following which the coordination in the physiology of the triovertebrate endocrine organs. The hypothalamo pituitary and gonads is maintained through synthesis of their hormone products of respective organs is called hypothalamo hypophysial gonadal axis. At first, hypothalamus releases GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone that releases two hormones FSHRH and LHRH or follicle stimulating hormone releasing hormone and LH means luteinizing hormone releasing hormone. These two hormones work on pituitary gland and FSH and LH from anterior pituitary follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. They act on gonads, testis in case of male and ovary in case of female. In male, ledic cell secretes testosterone and estradiol, satoli cell and seminiferous tubule secret ABP or androgen binding protein, inhibin and dihydroxy testosterone or DHT and in female from ovary, graphene follicle releases estrogen and corpus luteum releases progesterone and inhibin. And now we have to see how this pathway works. At first, when testosterone level is so high in our blood, then testosterone gives a feedback on pituitary because this testosterone level is high and body always maintain homeostasis. They want to decrease their load from blood. So, testosterone goes to pituitary and give a negative feedback and then pituitary gives the negative feedback to hypothalamus. Then pituitary secretion decrease and also when inhibin production is high, inhibin and DHT gives a negative feedback to pituitary. In this way, this pathway has been maintained by testosterone and estradiol hormone ABP, DHT and inhibin in case of male and if we see in case of female when estrogen level is so high as same way estrogen gives the negative feedback on pituitary and then pituitary gives the negative feedback on hypothalamus then estrogen secretion decrease and after that when inhibin secretion is so high or progesterone secretion is so high they also give the negative feedback on pituitary then pituitary gives this signal to hypothalamus and they decrease their synthesis as well as when the synthesis becomes too low then they give the positive feedback on that means pituitary or hypothalamus and they release this hormone in this way body always maintain homeostasis this is the general scheme of hypothalamo hypophysial gonadal axis hope you understand okay that's it for getting new videos hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel thank you